For millennia, humanity has observed the night sky, filled with curiosity and numerous questions about the mysteries of the universe. In the 20th century, scientists introduced a groundbreaking theory, which has since been known as the Big Bang Theory. While this theory made significant strides in addressing essential questions regarding the origin, development, and expansion of the cosmos, recent discoveries have added even more complexity to these puzzles. In 2023, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope made an extraordinary revelation. It detected celestial objects that seemed older than the universe itself. This astonishing discovery has left scientists puzzled and questioning the possibility that a star could have existed for a time longer than the universe's age, prompting a re-evaluation of our current understanding of the cosmos. Could this necessitate the development of an entirely new model to explain this mystery? These questions, along with many others, will be explored further in this video. If you're interested in staying updated with the latest cosmic news, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and enable notifications. Located approximately 200 light years away, in the constellation Libra, is an ancient star named HD 140283. The star's remarkable velocity of 44,833 km per hour offers important clues about its dramatic past. Around 1 billion years ago, when the Milky Way was in the process of forming, it merged with a dwarf galaxy, which likely served as HD 140,283's original home. However, what is truly fascinating about this star is not its speed, but its age. It ranks among the oldest celestial objects ever observed, and has earned the nickname Methuselah, after the biblical figure known for living 969 years. Initial age estimates place this star's age at an astonishing 16 billion years. However, more recent calculations have suggested it is approximately 14.46 billion years old, with a margin of error of 800 million years. This figure presents a considerable paradox, as it seems to contradict the established age of the universe, which we have determined to be around 13.8 billion years through studies of the cosmic microwave background. The question arises, how can a star be older than the universe itself? This paradox has sparked further inquiry into the star's age, the precision of our methods of dating celestial bodies, and ultimately, the true age of the universe, pushing scientists to dive deeper into these cosmic enigmas. To understand the complexity of these questions, it's essential to recognize that calculating the age of celestial objects is an extraordinarily difficult task. Stars like our Sun maintain relatively stable sizes and temperatures for billions of years, which makes estimating their age a challenging endeavor. Astronomers depend on subtle variations in a star's brightness and color over time, comparing these changes to sophisticated mathematical models that predict stellar evolution. One key method for determining a star's age involves examining its rotation rate. As stars age, they slow down, similar to a wheel losing momentum due to friction. By comparing the rotation rates of stars of various ages, astronomers have developed formulas that help estimate their age, a process known as gyrochronology. HD 140283, or Methuselah, is indeed one of the oldest stars we can estimate the age of with relative accuracy. Instead of focusing on whether it could be over 2 billion years older than the surrounding stars, we might consider a different possibility. Could the universe be much older than we initially thought? Comprehending the enormity of 13.8 billion years is challenging. If we were to represent the entire history of the universe as a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang occurring at the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve, Earth would only make its appearance toward the very end of December 31st, with recorded human history spanning barely there. Final 10 seconds of that day. Scientists estimate the universe's age by observing light from stars that were born hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. As the universe expands, a phenomenon known as redshift occurs, causing distant galaxies to move away from us, stretching the wavelength of their light. By analyzing both the observable distance of these galaxies and the rate at which the universe is expanding, scientists have determined the age of the universe to be roughly 13.8 billion years. However, Recent work from researchers at the University of Ottawa suggests that the universe may, in fact, be much older, potentially as much as 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rajendra Gupta, a physicist at the University of Ottawa, presents a theory that combines Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky's 1929 concept with ideas from Nobel laureates. Gupta's theory proposes that protons gradually lose energy as they travel vast distances and time, despite contradicting the observable data about redshift. 
Gupta suggests that by incorporating this theory with the universe's expansion, we could reinterpret redshift as a hybrid phenomenon, influenced by factors beyond just the universe's expansion. This shift in interpretation could lead to a revised estimate of the universe's age, offering solutions to long-standing cosmological questions and potentially providing new answers to mysteries recently raised by NASA's discoveries. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has been pivotal in calculating the new age of 26.7 billion years. Gupta's work integrates the tired light theory, proposing that light loses energy over time, with the concept of an evolutionary interaction constant, a theory originally proposed by physicist Paul Dirac. This approach suggests that the interactions that govern cosmic processes might have evolved over time. It is worth noting that the age of the universe has been revised multiple times throughout history. For example, in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble estimated the universe to be just 2 billion years old, but over time, our estimates have become more refined, eventually leading to the current estimate of around 13.8 billion years. Regardless of whether we accept the shorter or longer estimates, what is clear is that the universe is an extraordinarily ancient and awe-inspiring entity. Its constant expansion continues to challenge our previous ideas about its age. However, there are also intriguing observations about our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Recent data suggests that stars located in the outer regions of the Milky Way move at a considerably slower pace compared to stars in similar locations in other galaxies. This discovery has prompted scientists to explore several possible explanations. One possibility is that our galaxy contains significantly less dark matter, an invisible substance that plays a crucial role in the gravitational structure of cosmic bodies than previously thought. Alternatively, it may mean that our understanding of dark matter, including its distribution and quantity in the universe, is fundamentally flawed. This issue arose from data gathered by the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite, which has mapped the positions of nearly 2 billion stars in the Milky Way. This vast dataset has led astronomers to reconsider their models of stellar behavior, especially for stars in the outer regions of our galaxy. The velocity at which stars move is an important factor in estimating the mass of a galaxy. The gravitational force acting on each star depends on the galaxy's total mass, which includes not just the stars but also gas, dust, and dark matter. According to recent calculations based on Gaia's data, the combined mass of the Milky Way, including all visible and invisible components, is approximately 200,000 billion times the mass of our Sun. This estimate is significantly lower than previous calculations, which suggested the mass was about five times greater. This discrepancy may suggest that the amount of dark matter in the Milky Way is less than previously assumed. However, measuring the mass of a galaxy is a notoriously challenging task, and these new findings may be influenced by uncertainties in the Gaia satellite's data or in the analysis methods that were employed. As a result, scientists are continuing to monitor and analyze the information, awaiting further insights. We will continue to keep you updated as new discoveries emerge. If you found this video informative, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next update.